Today's video is about one thing you can do to drastically increase your chances of having the childbirth experience that you want. Hey new mama, it's Ellie, welcome back. If you're new, hit the red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss my next video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about writing your ideal birth story, the difference between an ideal birth story and a birth plan. This is actually from mygentleborn.com. I'll link them down below. Uh, it just gives a really clear description of the difference between the two. So, a birth plan is a written document of how you want to give birth. This is what you show your midwife or hospital caretaker and is simply an easy to read one page bullet list of your wishes. An ideal birth story is your personal idea of how you want to experience birth. It's all about your feelings. In your birth story, you'll write how you want to feel and experience your birth. It can be one page or a hundred. This is for you, not your caretaker. These are some of the bullet points um, for why this is so beneficial. So it sends good vibes and intentions out into the universe. Uh, it puts you in a positive mindset. It can calm fears and anxieties uh, that you might have about the birth experience. It helps you positively connect with your baby and your birth experience. Um, it helps you look forward to the birth with excitement. Uh, it forces you to really think about all the little details and what your truest wishes are for labor. Overall, the purpose is to put a positive spotlight on how well your birth could possibly go and to allow yourself to think about the experience without fear. Here's an example of my experience with the ideal birth story. Uh, I wrote mine with my first daughter um, and specifically put in it that when I got to the hospital, I was going to be seven centimeters dilated. And do you know how big the smile on my face was when I actually got to the hospital and was seven centimeters dilated? <laughs> I kid you not, I know that we didn't actually high five, but my husband and I were both so thrilled to hear that. It was like we high fived. <laughs> um, so it's just little things like that, you know? It's very possible had I not done the ideal birth story things could have gone totally different. So I want you to take some time very soon to sit down and just free write your ideal birth story. Then let me know in the comments below uh, how it made you feel. Did it calm some of the fears that you might have or the anxiety? Um, did you think of things that you hadn't thought before that surprised you? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. But like, you know, you want to be realistic. You don't want to be like, oh, I... You don't want to be like, oh, I felt a weird sensation and then poof, I had a baby. <laughs>